Want to make something healthy and delicious for dinner tonight? Me too, so let's go. On tap for today is a new favorite I've just started making recently, sweet potato chicken with cilantro and lime. You'll need about four medium sweet potatoes, two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs, black beans, chicken broth, cilantro, olive oil, lime juice, cumin, garlic, and brown sugar, plus any assorted toppings that you might like. First things first, we'll heat the olive oil in the pan and start cooking the chicken. And while they're cooking, we'll scrub and microwave the potatoes. We don't want them cooked all the way through, but softening them will make them easier to cut into pieces and reduce the amount of time they'll need to cook in the pan. The chicken is happily cooking away and the potatoes have cooled a little bit from their jaunt in the microwave, so we are ready to chop them up. You wanna hear something funny about sweet potatoes? I mean, they're delicious, right? And yet, somehow, I managed to avoid eating them my entire life until about two or three years ago. And I don't really know why. I mean, okay. I'm a really picky eater, so that's why. <laughs> I didn't think they would taste good. I mean, I probably never even tried them. Even though I guarantee that my mom slathered them in butter and brown sugar when I was a kid, which you would totally think would entice me. But nope, there have been lots of foods like that in my life. Things that I had never tried before just because I didn't think I'd like them. That I totally love now. I mean, like I didn't used to like rice or avocados, or broccoli, or I mean, pretty much any kind of vegetable. And there are things that I used to absolutely love that I just don't make room for anymore. I used to love Cheetos. Like, I used to eat them all the time. Diet Pepsi, pizza rolls, pretty much anything that came in a bag or a box or frozen. Like, really, for most of my life, I was all about convenience and not so much about health. The thing is, whether you're a picky eater or not, I mean, okay, <laughs> I always kind of assume that you are, and here's what I mean by that. When I'm given advice about weight loss and eating the right number of calories and all that, I totally assume that you have habits and routines that you know and love. And even if those habits and routines, you know, have exotic foods <laughs> like sweet potatoes, you're probably still picky in the sense that you have certain things that you like to eat and certain things that don't really float your boat. And one of the biggest problems I see people making when they're trying to lose weight is that they tr completely try to overhaul everything they're eating. They get rid of the things that they love and they feel like they have to eat only healthy stuff. Like they go to the pantry and they clean out all the junk food. They throw away all the flour and sugar and carbs. And don't get me wrong here. I'm not saying that you should eat junk food or sugar or whatever. I definitely suggest that you eat healthy foods, but Cleaning out your pantry isn't the first step to losing weight. And honestly, I don't know that you ever really need to make a big deal about that at all because eventually, over time, your tastes are gonna change. Sweet potatoes are chopped up and ready to rumble, so let's make the sauce really quickly while the chicken is finishing up. This is super simple. Just combine the chicken broth, the lime juice, the garlic, the cumin, and the brown sugar in a small bowl. After we pull the chicken out of the pan to cut it up, we'll throw in the potatoes, stir them around a little bit to coat them with chicken juice and the remaining olive oil. Then we'll add the sauce and cover it so the potatoes can finish cooking. When I first started losing weight, I honestly, I don't think there was a single meal Meal I made that I cooked from scratch. And it wasn't because I didn't know how to cook. I, I've always known how to cook. Some of my earliest memories are of helping my mom in the kitchen. By the time I was in sixth grade, my sister and I had to cook dinner for ourselves because my mom worked full time at a retail store, so she was gone in the evenings. I know, I know how to cook. But for some reason, after I had kids, I think I just didn't care. And that sounds so funny to me now, but it just got easier and easier to eat convenient foods. I mean, frozen pizzas, hamburger helper, going through the drive-through. So if I had gone directly from those habits and routines and totally cleared out my pantry and changed everything that I was eating, I, <laughs> I would have stopped 
served, or I would have given up within the first couple of days. I did that quite a few times, actually. I went on oh my God, so many different diets that required all kinds of foods that I didn't enjoy, and I just I quit before I even got going. But when I did Slim Fast, we've talked about this, that's how I lost weight 15 years ago, and this is definitely not an endorsement, but it's gonna prove my point in just a minute here. So I was drinking the shake for breakfast and the shake for lunch, and I mean, trust me, I was not eating a healthy and sensible meal for dinner. I was still pretty much eating the same crap that I had been eating. But it happens that it was the right amount of food for me to lose weight. And because I was getting results without constantly making decisions like, can I actually eat this? Is it allowed? Do I like it? Is it healthy? Do I even know how to steam broccoli? And all that chatter, it gave me the brain space to start actually noticing what I was eating and how it made me feel. And within, I'm gonna say six months or so, I started making small decisions about slightly healthier swaps that I could make. And then, I mean, I, it probably took me at least three years, but that led me to start cooking a lot more of my own meals, like this one. Now that the sweet potatoes are soft and yummy and the chicken is chopped up into bite-sized chunks, we'll put the chicken back into the pan and add the black beans and mix them all together. This part's really quick. We'll just cover the pan and give the beans a chance to warm through. And then it's dinner time. Chop up some cilantro to garnish the top. And if you need more than 450 calories for this meal to meet your target for the day, add on some avocado slices. Yum. You guys, it took me 15 years to go from eating all convenience foods all the time to eating mostly healthy most of the time. And if that's what you're aiming for too, check out these other great dinner recipes I have for weight loss. I'll see you in the next video.